Who could suppose what together we'll find With every pair of shoes that we try We'll have a new adventure, you and I Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure making me sneeze. Had you? Oh, Franny, you must be getting a cold. Perhaps we should leave the park for another day. <gasps> but I feel fine. I don't feel like I'm getting a cold. Hmm, you don't feel warm. See, I'm fine. And I really want to go to the... Oh. Uh, uh, had you? Park. <laughs> I'm sorry, Franny. But I think we'd better stay inside today. Piffle. A customer. Hello, what can we do for you today? I spent a week hiking out in the hot desert sun, and now my boots are awfully faded. Don't worry. I'll have them shining bright again in no time. Right, Franny? Right, Grandpa. Into the fix-it box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Tumbling tumbleweeds. Looks like I'm in the desert. Who are you? Hi, I'm Albert. Come roll in the mud with me before it disappears. It doesn't last very long in this hot sun, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure my grandpa would like me rolling in the mud. Oh, well, maybe we could do something else together. Oh, I know. How about a game? That would be fantastic. I love games. I used to play a game called Berry Picker with a friend of mine. Have you ever played it? I don't think so, but it sounds like fun. Oh! This is a prickly pear. Yeah! You have to eat as many berries as you can. The one who eats the most wins. I think this prickly pear is a little too prickly for me. That's funny. My friend didn't mind the prickles. <sighs> Boy, do I miss Annie. Who's Annie? <gasps> oh. Why aren't you and Annie playing together? It's very sad. I'm allergic to her. Every time I'm around Annie, I sneeze uncontrollably. That's terrible. Yes, so Annie thought it would be best if we didn't play together anymore. For the sake of my nose. There must be something we can do to help you. I know, come on. Are you ready, Albert? I hope this works. Me too. I feel a little silly. Albert! It's so good to see you. Are you sure you're not going to sneeze? I'm fine. Thanks to Franny. Annie, meet Franny. Hi, Franny. Hi. Nice to meet you, Annie. Now we can play all of our favorite games together. Oh, that itches. Hmm. 
Maybe the clothespin is on too tight. I don't think that's it. I... I... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Not again. Poor Albert. We've got to think of something. I just don't know, Flanny. <gasps> what if I never get to play with Annie again? There must be a way. Hmm. <gasps> I know just the thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Annie and I hollowed out this cactus for you. It's a helmet. Try it on. That's a great idea. How do I look? Fantabulous. <laughs> Albert, you're not sneezing. Yippee! Now we can play together. Do you want to play ball with me? I can't hear you. Let's play ball. Let's stay small. No! Let's play ball! Uh... Play ball! Play ball! I can't hear a word, you Oh, no! Not again! <laughs> I better go talk to him. And I better go back to my hill, as far away from Albert as I can be. It's no use. I may as well give up. I'll never get to play with Annie again. I'm sorry, Albert. I feel like I'm letting you down. No, you tried your very best, Franny. But I'm going back to my burrow now. Those are Annie's favorite. Now try moving closer to the flowers. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Do you know what this means? Uh, nope. It means you can play with Annie. Just give me a minute. I'm sorry we're missing out on the park today, Franny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aha! Grandpa, I'm not getting a cold. I have an allergy. Mm. 
Achoo! See? I'm allergic to these flowers, just like Albert. Albert? Yes. Albert sneezed every time he came close to Annie and her cactus flowers, just like these purple flowers and me. <laughs> so you're allergic to hyacinths. Mm -hmm. Did you know Grandma is allergic to ragweed? She is? Are you allergic to anything? No. Many people have no allergies at all. Good thing you're not allergic to me. <laughs> of course I'm not. Now, why don't we take this plant outside to the window box on the way to the park? Okie dokie, Grandpa. Where will my feet be? Take me tomorrow. Bouncing booties! I can't wait till we finish the cradle, Grandpa. What's that, Fiona? Fiona says she can't wait either. She loves being rocked to sleep. Ready to glue on the last piece? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> There, all done. Can I play with it now, Grandpa? No, not yet. Huh? We have to let the glue dry or the sides might fall off. You mean we have to wait? A little while, Franny, and then we can paint it. Paint it? When do we get to play with it? You want the cradle to look nice for Briona, don't you? <sighs> I guess so. But why does it have to take so long? A customer! <laughs> Hello, what can we do for you and your shoes on this fine day? Spring has arrived early, and I need these old walking shoes fixed up so that I'll have a spring in my step. No worries. I'll have you bouncing about in no time. To the fix-it box, if you please. Okie dokie, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? What a beautiful place! Just look at all these flowers! What's that fuzzy sound? Oh, bumblebees! Good morning, bumblebees. Not now. Very busy. Jeepers, somebody's in a hurry. Don't mind them. My hive mates are always buzzing here and there. Hi, I'm Buzzby. I'm Franny. Where are those busy bees buzzing to? We're all collecting flower pollen to make honey. See? You make honey from that? When we get enough of it. But why are your friends in such a hurry? Are they hungry? No, just impatient. Buzzing from flower to flower is a big job for little bees, so they can't wait to finish. But me... I like to take my time and enjoy what I'm doing. Like I always say, do things just to get them done, you might be missing all the fun. <laughs> and your meadow looks like a fun place. It's like a big flower garden. Whirling whirligig! A big windy garden! Get behind me, Busby! Are you okay? Yes, thanks. I owe you one. It's a honey of a morning. Why don't I give you a tour of the meadow while I finish my work? That sounds fantastic. Then let's buzz off! As you can see, our meadow has lots of different flowers. Vanny, they all smell wonderful. Look, wild roses. They smell sweet. Bonjour, Busby. Hi, Serena. What are you doing? I am building a new web. How do you like it? Um, it's nice. So far. 
It is not much now, but wait. It will soon be magnifique. That means magnificent in French. Why don't you stay until it is finished? Until it's finished? <sighs> How long do we have to wait? However long it takes, of course. That sounds good to me. Don't you have to get back to your hive, Busby? Sure, but I still need to collect a bit more pollen. I know. I can show you my favorite flower patch while we're waiting. Come on, Franny. <laughs> hey, wait for me. I will not be long, mes amis. Purple cone flowers. Perfect for making honey. I knew bees made honey, but now I know what they make it from. Pollen. That's right. We collect it from a flower and roll it in a ball. Then we buzz, buzz, buzz back to our hive, put all our pollen together, and make honey from it. It sounds like honey takes a long time to make. Yes, but it's worth it. Even if you have to wait and wait and wait? Sure, the whole time we're making the honey, I'm thinking how good it's going to taste. Yummy! Besides, waiting isn't so bad. We're doing it right now. Hey, you're right! Hurry, Busby! Back to the hive! I'll be right there! After we see Serena's web. Busby! We can't disappoint her. She's expecting us. That's true. Even if you're a busy bee, you can still be neighborly. <laughs> Be neighborly, that's funny. <laughs> Leaping lady slipper, Serena. Your web is magnifique. Oh dear, hang on everybody. Gosh, Serena, aren't you worried your new home might blow away? No, mon ami. My webbing is very thin, but very, very strong. Et fini. That means all finished. I'm really glad we waited to see your web. It didn't feel like a long time at all. Yes, but now we better be going. The others will wonder where I am. It was nice meeting you, Serena. Thank you for stopping by. Au revoir. Here we are. Busby! Where have you been? I just stopped to chat with an old friend and make a new one. <gasps> a friend? Can she help us? Look what the wind did. Buzzing bumblebees. That branch might fall any second, along with our hive. Can you help us, Franny? I don't know. can fix the branch. And save our hive! Maybe I can't, but I know who can. She's doing it! Way to go, Serena! Her webbing is very thin, but also very strong. Eh? Fini. That means she's all done. Oh! Great! Our hive is safe! Yay! Let's get to work! Wait! First, we must thank our new friends for all their help. And thank you, Busby, for taking the time to make such good friends. You're welcome. Would you like to stay for lunch? I would be delighted. I'd like to, but I can't wait to get home to wait with my grandpa. Thanks for the tour, Busby. You're welcome. Be happy. Be safe. Be seeing you! Bye-bye, bees! <laughs> that was unbelievable! <gasps> Pretty pink petals! Like the ones on the flowers in Busby's meadow.
put these in my treasure box. Hi, Grandpa. Oh. Are we still waiting for the glue to dry? I'm afraid so. That's okay. While we're waiting, we can choose a color to paint it. Well, now that's a good idea. Yes. I learned a lot about waiting from Busby. Busby? My new bee friend. He taught me to be patient and enjoy what I do, instead of rushing to finish it. <laughs> be patient. That's very good. What's that, Briona? Briona says playing with the cradle will be fun, but making it is fun, too. Even if it takes a long time. Come along, then, you two. Let's pick a color for our crib. Okay, Grandpa. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? 